let's go ahead and just listen to the magical loop that we get in this track. Yeah, if you don't know this track, this video might be weird for you. But if you do know this track, then hopefully it's great for you. The thing about this is that in a lot of the tracks we've broken down so far, things are a little more complex. Usually you have all these different sections, like a prominent A section, a prominent B section. You'll have different melodies throughout the track. Because the thing is, this track is just really simple. And part of that's the beauty of it. In fact, I think that's one of the best parts of it. You basically just had, they got this amazing loop and they're just gonna variate it without much, without, they're, they're just gonna take parts out, put parts back in. They're not even gonna make like drastic modulations or anything, but they're just gonna do that for the whole track. And you're gonna love it. And that's part of why this track is so good because they had this such a good loop that they're able just to, make an entire track out of it without really doing anything crazy. Okay, so right away we hear this underwater synth happening. I call it underwater synth because it just has this sort of nautical feeling. And, but modulating, this is some sort of rhythmic thing that's occurring listen for it here hear that it has some sort of flange on it's going tiki 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 something like that and we're gonna have these 808 hats i'm pretty sure they're 808s start to come into the game so we're basically building up the beat slowly until we drop into it here the hats playing then after a few bars we brought in a clap it's adding to the beat more then we brought in the chords smiley face i put a smiley face because these chords are just amazing they just have this they're this the golden chords they have this vibe so good and then eventually 12 bars later we have this synth melody come in And those keep playing, we have those underwater sounds going crazy in the background. And then eventually we have this little snare drum come in, which is gonna layer the clap. So the clap. So then we're gonna have the snare drum layer with the clap, give a little drum fill. <laughs> then we have the loop right there. So we have the clap, we have the 808 hats. The snare is staying in, so now the snare and the clap are just playing at the same time. And then you're getting this cool little snare fill. And that's going to keep happening every two bars, a little fill. And then the kick drum is playing a very simple pattern. You got the bass line that has entered the game, which is just kind of dropping down with the chords and going back up with the chords. And it also has this nautical sort of feeling to it. I, I don't know. How, what makes it nautical exactly, but it's it's just really cool. Yeah, and so let's see. So yeah, so you still have your underwater synth. You got your pads, and these pads are slash chords are really just sounding. They're just carrying the game. Everything's working together. The synth melody's happening, the bass line's happening. And yeah, this is just an amazing loop, and because of that, we're able to hear it over and over and over again. 
So for the rest of this video, I'm going to be way more general than I normally am because normally there's so many things to talk about. But I just want y'all to watch and just notice how things are dropping out and coming back in. And just notice the effect of that because that's really what they're doing here. I mean, these chords are so important that you'll notice when they drop them out, which they do pretty often, it makes such a big change and it opens up our brain to be able to listen to the bass line more and to the synth melody more. And then when they bring the chords back in, we're just back into this like big chorus. So I say chorus because it has the feeling of a chorus of like a big pop song or something. When you hear it, it's just so, it grabs you so much. So let's just listen and again, just watch what happens. Watch how some things are going to drop out and then be brought back in and just notice, just see what that feels like because that's, that's the important thing here. Yeah, hopefully you notice that we're just dropping some things out and bringing some things back in. It's cool though because at 2 minutes and 30 seconds we still have heard in ways we've heard some different combinations of sounds. So for example, ever since the full groove started, which was at a minute 5, we, we've we had all three of the melodic things happening at the same time, slash harmonic. By that I mean the chords are playing the bass line's playing, the synth melody's playing all together here. And these are the only main like harmonic melodic things in the track. Just because if you look at everything, these are drums and this is like a crazy sound. So we've heard them all playing at the same time when the groove occurs. When we get to this point, the groove is still happening. The drums and the the drums are still playing, the bass line's still there, but now the chords aren't there. So this is in a way a totally new section because we just haven't heard bass line and synth melody with drums before. If you look, you can just notice that just doesn't exist. So even though it sounds like, oh, all we did was drop out the chords, by doing that, you actually created a new sound palette for the listener. So this is, in a way, a new section. In a way, this is a something we've never heard before, so it's still interesting. At this point, we get another new thing. We've never heard the chords bass line with the rest of the drums without the synth melody. So I just want to point out how even though it might seem really simple and you're just saying, oh, I'll, we're just taking out some things and adding some things, by doing that you're sometimes giving the listener a combination that they've never gotten to hear before together. It sounds very simple, is very simple, but it has a profound impact. So let's just keep listening. <laughs>
Amazing. So at this point, we've never heard the chords with the synth without the kick and the snare. So this is a whole new feeling. We're mostly just going to listen for the rest of this. I don't really want to talk so much more because I think you kind of get it. You're just getting this money, amazing loop, and then you're just toying with the arrangement of it because you just drop it out sometimes, you just bring it back sometimes. Let's just listen to it until the end and then we'll talk about that a little bit. And there you have it. Even though we're mostly just variating off of this loop, just like from earlier, it's cool how even at this point we've never had, which is, you know, we're getting close to the end of the track. We're at about four minutes and 50 seconds. Even at this point, we're getting a new combination. By that, I mean, we've never had the synth melody with just the clap and the 808 hat with the aquatic sounds. So even though in some ways, yeah, this track is super simple, it's just this loop repeating, the fact that we're this deep into the track getting a new combination is interesting. And this is part of how we're able to keep interest in this because, you know, you will eventually get tired of this loop, uh, even though it's so great, eventually you would. So it's cool how without adding a big B section or something, we're still getting a new sonic palette. It's also new here. That's the track. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. We're going to be having another breakdown next week and more mixios to come out. So the next one coming out is called The Lighthouse with Miro von Berlin. It's going to be really cool. Y'all have a nice day. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment what you want me to do in future ones. And peace.